Hello this is Moonstar History. Juba II was a Berber prince from Numidia, he was born in Hippo Regius in Algeria today. He was the son of King Juba I of Numidia, who was an ally of the Roman general Pompey. In 46 BC his father was defeated by Julius Caesar in Thapsus in North Africa. Juba II was brought to Rome by Julius Caesar and he took part in Caesar's triumphal process. In Rome he learned Latin and Greek, became Romanized and was granted Roman citizenship. Through dedication to his studies he is said to have become one of Rome's best educated, and by age 20 he wrote one of his first works entitled Roman Archaeology. He was raised by Julius Caesar and later by his great-nephew Octavian the future emperor. While growing up, Juba II accompanied Octavian on military campaigns, gaining valuable experience. He fought alongside Octavian in the Battle of Actium in 31 BC. In 30 BC, Octavian restored Juba II as king of Numidia. Juba II established Numidia as an ally of Rome, probably as a result of his services to Augustus in a campaign in Hispania. Between 26 BC and 20 BC the emperor arranged for him to marry Cleopatra Selene II, giving her a large dowry and appointing her queen. In 25 BC, Numidia was directly annexed to the Roman Empire becoming a Roman province, and Juba II received Mauritania as his kingdom. Mauritania was briefly governed directly by Rome in the period between 33 BC to 25 BC. Then in 25 BC Juba II received it from Augustus. He and his wife Cleopatra Selene established and moved to their new capital, Caesarea. In modern-day Churchill, in Algeria, they named it in honor of Augustus. The construction and sculpture projects at Caesarea display a rich mixture of Egyptian Berber Greek and Roman architectural styles. Juba II encouraged and supported the performing of arts, research of sciences and research of natural history. He also engaged in trade all across the Mediterranean. The Greek historian Plutarch described him as one of the most gifted rulers of his time. In AD 21, Juba II made his son Ptolemy his co-ruler. When Juba II died in AD 23, he was buried alongside his wife in the royal mausoleum of Mauritania, in Tapaza in modern-day Algeria.